Alright, so today we're going to be taking on one rad robot one. And uh, looking from his team, you can see he has a shuckle, which he may be using to set up. So I think the best play here is just to go into Sableye and try and magic bounce that. He also has a Ninjask, which could be a bad impasse Pokemon, but you never know. Overall, pretty decent team. I think his downside is really that Blastoise, because he already has Gastrodon, so... Uh, unless you're like running a water type for bulk, it could even be a Mega Blastoise, that would probably make sense. I'm also running two water types, but it's for the, um, you know, the, uh, because both of them are right tanky, so that's like my main incentive behind that. So what I'm going to do here is just to will of wisp and get some status off, because he's probably going to set up. Not many people know what Sableye can do in this game, so I'll just let him kind of set up on himself. So I'll just go for that quick will o -Wisp. Foul play will do absolutely nothing, especially because that Shuckle has no attack. So it's actually really not a terrible kind of disable eye if you have a good attack. Like Infestation would be excellent right here, but because that's actually an attack and you can't magic bounce that. So let's see what he's going to do anyways. Yeah, he went for the sticky web. That's unfortunate for him at least. So, um... Now, because uh, Shuckle's here, he, he he's pretty much set, set up fodder for me because I can just go into something good like Excadrill. I can set up myself and then I could even sweep, but um, I think it's probably better to start with Excadrill because I can get Stealth Rock and then I can I can Rapid Spin whenever I need to Rapid Spin, so yeah, that's perfect. So now Excadrill is inflicted with the infestation and he has no choice but to switch out unless he wants to take a massive hit so here i'll just get that quick stealth rock off he's gonna withdraw not a bad idea into blastoise unfortunately i don't have my focus sash anymore because um Exegio just took some damage from that infestation but you have stealth rock set up he could go for the quick rapid spin but i could just spin block that too by going into stable eye Hopefully this is a good prediction, but you know, we'll find out soon if it was or if it wasn't. And that could be a Mega. Yeah, perfect. He got predicted. Alright, now I'm going to go for the Foul Play. He could pro he's probably going to... No, okay, never mind. He has a Mega. That's actually pretty rad, I'm not going to lie. Mega Launcher especially can do massive damage. So I'm not looking forward to what he has to bring to the table. He could even go for the Shell Smash. Oh, just the Scald, okay. A burn would be pretty inconvenient. Yeah, that did a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie. I probably wanna switch out into probably Toxapex here because I can afford to take damage and switch back out because I got Regenerator. And that's why I love Toxapex so much. It's just always a perfect switching. This scout shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah, perfect. And he gets the burn, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's not too bad. But like, you can't really do anything better, like, I guess Thunder Wave might have been a bit more effective against Toxapex, but... Uh... He's probably gonna predict and go into Shuckle, but that's... Well, he could also Rapid Spin. Yeah, he could just Rapid Spin, and I don't want that to happen. So, um... Uh, I'll probably... I'll probably just get the Toxic off if he Rapid Spins. I don't know what he's thinking with that. Now his Blastoise is on the timer. So I really just don't want him to rapid spin off all my all my entry hazards, but you know. It's gonna be what it is if he does do it because there's not much I can really switch into here. Perhaps the Tangroat. Yeah, I'll just go into Tangroat. He's probably gonna go for Yeah, okay, never mind, that's fine. Flygon. That's fine because most Flygons are physical attackers, and if he's running special, I hope that Tangro should be able to still take the hit. You know, we're gonna find out though soon. So, unfortunately, I'm not running Hidden Power Eyes, because it would've been perfect in this situation, because then I could just get that Oko, or even something just close to an Oko. But I messed up those IVs, and now I'm just suffering for it. So here he goes for the Fly, nothing, because Tangro is both to take those types of hits, and I can get off the Sleep Powder unless it misses. Yeah, perfect. Alright, now I'm probably just going to go for the Giga Drain, or I could even switch out into Melodic, but I think I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain. Because that just will be a good move to use, just get HP back. You have almost no loss, and it does pretty good damage too, so it 
it's a, it's a fun move to use. He goes for the switch, and he's probably gonna go into. Oh, okay, never mind. That's actually not a bad switch in. I could put him to sleep, but you know, I don't want to disrespect this lead plus, so I'm gonna just get this Giga Drain off and switch out into something different. And Toxic or Toxic Croak is a pretty interesting Pokemon. Like it, it, it can do a lot of damage because I've never seen anybody use it in this game at least. It's not very popular, unfortunately. So here I can go with the Excadrill. It's a really, it's a prediction because if he goes for a Fighting type move, I'm gonna really suffer. But like Sableye would be the perfect check here. It's re it resists both stabs, and uh, I could even Willows or Foul Play this Toxic Croak. Yeah, he's going for a Poison Jab. Alright, um, so, you could probably go with the Blastoise now, which is why I'm going to Earthquake. Oh, never mind. He stays in. And there goes the Toxic Croak. I'm looking forward to see what he has next. Gastrodon. And that's a Shiny too, that's actually pretty cool. I've never seen that Shiny, it's just surprisingly underwhelming, but, you know, it's so cool that he has one, so. He's probably going to go for like a Water type move. Or even a ground type move. Most Gastrodons are special attackers. Scald and Earth Power, but he could also even run an Earthquake and just have a mixed set. That I just don't know, so. I'm tempted to just go into Sableye and then recover. This could be a bad idea. He could even go for a status, and if he does, this would be perfect. No, he goes for Earth Power. I hope I outspeed because then I'm gonna suffer if I don't. Yeah, perfect. It's a good thing we're running some speed on the Sableye. And if he gets the burn though, it'd be actually pretty bad. Yeah, he does it. Right, I'll just go for one more recovery and switch back out into something else. Because having Sableye in good condition is always pretty nice. Especially in, in the type of competitive battle like this where you have Pokemon versus Sableye could actually be useful against. So, uh, I'll probably go into Tango now. So it's going to be hard for him to switch into a Giga Drain now that he lost his main check, which is Toxic Croak. And Scout shouldn't do that much damage, I hope. Yeah, nutty. Perfect. And now I can go for the Giga Drain. I could even go for the Sleep Powder, but I think Giga Drain is the best move here. Ninja Ask. Oh, okay. He does have another check. But that just takes huge damage from the Stout Rocks. It's unfortunate for him. I think what I'm going to do is actually stay in and take a hit. I can afford to get that done. It's actually a risk. I'm, I might have made a bad choice here, but... Tangrowth's meant to take hits, and it has Rocky Helmet, and Ninjask is a physical attacker, so I really take no downside from this. Okay, he goes for the Aerial Ace, does absolutely nothing. Yeah, perfect. And I can just get that knockoff into the Ninjask, and he was just, why would you run a weakness policy in Ninjask? That's what I don't understand. It's just not going to ever take a hit, so that was uh, that's uh, unfortunate for him at least. So here he could go for the infestation. He could even try to set up his own sticky web. Um, hmm. I'll probably just go for the Giga Drain. Try and slowly wear out the Shuckle. And unfortunately, I can't put him to sleep because he's already burned. But I could also knock off and just get his item off him. That way, his Shuckle will become immobilized, unable to actually do anything in the game. But Giga Drain, that does absolutely no damage. I'm actually a bit disappointed there. I'm not gonna lie. Aw, oh, man. Damn, that sucks. Right, I'll probably just go into uh, Walkerona here. And I'm going to start setting up because this is real. This struggle is just set up fodder. It's meant to be set up on. So, yeah. I'm going to take this opportunity here. He might go into Blastoise. But I'm pretty sure a Z, Bugneum Z will do enough damage to knock that thing out. So, I'm just going to go for the Quick Quiver Dance. Get that boost up. Actually, him staying good is not going to be a terrible idea because he does resist a lot of my attacks. But I don't really know what he would do. If he, go, if he has power split though, it would definitely suck. Oh man, this is a bad situation actually. Because I don't think this is the right time to pull out Wokorona. Oh, he just has infestation. That's fine. I thought he was gonna have something else, honestly. But it is, infestation, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, unless he has a good move like Power Split, then it's gonna be good for me. Oh, just toxic. All right. I 
hope that I can take him out before the toxic actually starts to take effect. You know, this actually, if it, if it does at least have damage, it'll be good enough. It might not though, actually. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Perfect. Wow. Okay, well, I'm facing my own my own tactics. This is exactly what I would do in this situation. Oh, shucks. I'm gonna give him a savage spin out. It's probably not gonna do anything because he has a four times resist, but I'd rather use my Z move than not use it, so. Let's just see how much damage this even does. Oh, come on, bruh. Damn, that sucks. I forgot that I had sturdy. Well, you know, it is what it is. At least I will take him out before I go down, but, you know, it's unfortunate. I'll just go for the bug buzz in case he... Nah, he doesn't switch, alright. He made the sacrifice. But hopefully... Yeah, I'm not gonna live that poisoning. Alright. That's tough. Oh, I guess I'll go into X control. Well, actually, I could just go to Tango predicting the. All right, no, never mind. Goes into Flygon, but that's fine. You can't really switch into anything now, because Tango resists basically all his Pokemon. So I'm gonna just get those Giga Drains off. Like his Flygon is really just, it's not gonna be able to do anything against Tango. Yeah, that's a lot of damage right there. So Tango is really good for these type of physical attackers. Like, Milotic would also do the same thing, and so would Toxapex. Well, not necessarily, because it is weak to the ground-type stab. But Tango is just good for ground-type attackers, at least. It's really good against ground-type attackers, and uh, just decent against physical attackers overall. Yeah, I think this Blastoise is dead, because I don't think you can really do anything to Tango that would one-shot it. So, I'll just get another... Okay, he's gone for the Rapid Spin. Which is really bad in my opinion because now he's taken massive damage and there is a Blastoise out of the game. Like, it's not really worth having to take off the entry hazard unless you have something really good that's worth keeping in. I don't think whatever he has next. I think it's Gastrodon, but I don't remember. So, we're about to find out. But I think it's, yeah, it's Gastrodon, so that's GG for him. He shouldn't really attack there because that way you could have at least, uh, yeah, alright, GG. So we are going to be fighting King Poggy's MC, and he's like a, I think a rank 1196. So that's a pretty high ranking, at least in this leaderboard, especially because it got refreshed. So he's a pretty good battler. And uh, looking at his team, he has a lot of attackers. He's got three starters too, which is pretty cool. But it's not really a well-balanced team, because he's got Hamildoom and a Charizard. And Dark-type and Ghost-type is pretty similar. And he has, yeah, yeah, that's, and he has three... He has two ghost types, so it's not, and, it, and another dark type, so he really likes dark types, so it appears, but you know, it's fine. That's always a good thing for me, so I could probably start off at Sableye here. Well, I don't, yeah, I'm probably gonna go into, well, mm, that's the problem with having to start Pokemon because it's hard to decide which one you want to go for, but I think uh, Excadrill would be the best one here, unless he has Greninja with spikes, but we're about to find out what he's running. Alright, Dragapult. Not so bad. Unfortunately, I can't rapid spin. Which would have been great against Dragapult, but I'll just Earthquake. Just take damage against him. And he can't really do much back to me, so should be pretty good. Unless he has Flame Trevor, that'd be a different story, but I'm under the assumption he doesn't. Alright, U-turn. See, that's actually a pretty good move, because most good competitive teams have that type of setup where can get the momentum from U-turn or Wall Switch. So he goes into Greninja, which I wouldn't say is a great decision. Oh man, that is tough. Yeah, like Greninja ain't gonna resist that earthquake. I think he was predicting this Dot Rock, but you know that's always a good thing to take that out. And he has a Charizard. And I know this Charizard is probably gonna outspeed me. Because if not, I wouldn't have gone for the rock slide and just take him out of the game, but I'm forced to go into something else here now. Probably Toxapex. But it could be a Mega X, and like Mega, yeah, I'll just go into Melodic, because Melodic is just good against both of the Charizards in general. Except it's not so great against Mega Charizard, why? Because, yeah, it's an X, perfect. 
Unless he goes for a Dragon Dance, I should be pretty good switching into a Melodic here. Oh, but I can't burn him. That's actually going to be a bit of a inconvenience. I hope he doesn't go for the Dragon Dance. Alright, great. Real quick. I mean, I would have gone for a Fire Move, but I guess he's probably running Flare Blitz on that, so he doesn't want to have to use that up. I'll just go for the Toxic. This is actually a bit risky because he can still set up a sweep or even do crazy damage. Goes into the Decidueye, that's fine. Toxic on anything is always good because it does crazy damage, unless you're fighting a physical attacker. But even then, Toxic is still nice because you still put them in a timer. Well, Will of Wisp will only like, you know, just burn them for a bit. Alright, so I'll probably go into um, Sableye. And I do get that pre-mega evolution boost, so even if he does do something dangerous, I can still get that recover priority. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. I don't know if I want to mega evolve though, that's my thing. I'll just keep Sableye on mega evolved first though. Phantom Force. Alright, fine by me. That's gonna be a unfortunate situation for him because I can just protect unless Phantom Force goes through that but oh okay never mind it does I did not know that all right I'll just go for the mega evolution and get the recover off that way I can have Sableye mega evolved he's probably just gonna go for another Phantom Force or maybe something else maybe a sword stance we'll find out soon but nothing that he's going to be able to do will really do much to Mega Sableye, so it should be fine. And the good thing is Mega Sableye only has one weakness in this generation, that's the uh, Fairy type, so. And I'm glad I Mega Evolved there because that Leaf Blade could have done massive damage if I didn't, so. Yeah, I'll just go for the recovery here. Alright, perfect. I could have gone for Protect too, but I'd rather keep Sableye in good condition. Like I could probably take whatever he has and get him more HP. So, there goes his Decidueye. Um, I don't really know what he's going to switch into now. Maybe Dragapult, maybe uh, uh, Charizard, okay. Not bad, I can just Fall Play. I think he's going to go for Dragon Dance. Or oh, never mind, Earthquake. I don't know what he's thinking with that. So when you're using Charizard, you don't want to use Earthquake. It doesn't get the Tough Cause boost, it doesn't get Stat boost. You could be you could be doing so much more damage with other moves. Flinkjaw is gonna do a decent amount. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's actually really bad. Sableye could actually be out of the commission now. Ah, oh, damn. And the uh, the fall play did far less damage than it normally would. That's actually a bit tragic. I'm not gonna lie. Well, there goes Sableye. Like he's basically useless now, unless I get like uh, a really good prediction against a psychic type or something. But goes for a flamethrower. And there's no damage against Melodic. This is why Melodic is just such a good Pokemon. Even with a Flare Blitz or even Dragon Claw, it just do nothing because it's just it's so tanky. Air Slash. Yeah, I don't really understand his setup at Charizard. This is more of like a Mega Charizard Y setup, honestly. I just remove Earthquake, put some special attacks there. Like he's running special attacks in X, which is not a bad idea because it still has pretty high special attack. But you could be running so many other better moves. So like it just doesn't make sense. We think about it practically. I'll just go for the Ice Beam to get that massive damage off. I think it should be a two shot. Alright, okay, U turn. It's actually not what I expected, but it should be fine because whatever he switches into is going to take an Ice Beam. Houndoom. Okay, you know what? This guy's actually kind of smart. But Houndoom isn't really going to do much against Melodic. Like, the most he can really do is Solar Beam. And if he goes back into Dragapult. Alright, Thunder Fang. Yeah, this does nothing. And uh, he's gonna take a big scowl to the face. Should be enough to KO him. Yep. I think he now has. Uh, he has that Lycan Rock, and he also has whatever he just had beforehand. The Dragapult. Yeah. The last thing he can really do here is a late game sweep. I'm just gonna go for the recover. Oh, that's tough. He did not get the KO. I can imagine his frustration right now. Oh man, that's that's actually sad. I'll just go for another recover. He's going into like a rock. I don't know why he went for the U-turn there. He shouldn't have gone for another dragon darts or even a dragon dance. So that's a nice like a rock though. Like the shiny looks really good. Like I'm glad they did not do the like rocks dirty with their shinies. Like the regular 
like in rock has this really nice blue this one has a good dark blue shiny so they all look really good overall i had to say i like how they contrast with their main colors because like in rock isn't like regular like in rock isn't that bright it's just like a duller brown so it gets like a, a recessive light blue color and this one has a more of a bolder red so it gets a bold blue as it's shiny which is really cool here he goes into Dragapult, I think it's GG for him. Yeah, GG. Good game.